again, guys. Today will be a video called "Shut Up Phone." Today will be a video called "Cookie Run Tips." So let's start off with tip number one. In the Tower of Sweet Chaos, you are given an option to choose one of these chests, but you can actually buy both. I can't. I'm not close to getting another chest, but you get what I mean. So let's say you pick this one, number two here. You open it, and then you think, okay, move on to the next stage. Well, you're wrong. If you still have enough, if you have enough, but you can always just save it for extra. You can buy it a second time so that you can get more rewards. So you can buy one and two, which is what I did. Okay, and then what other tips do we have? Yeah, in your arena over here, I'm diamond two, but I'm stuck. You can check your defense, right? Yep. So when you check the revenge, the team may be different because you have attackers and defenders. Attackers and defenders can be different. So you see this. Let's say I'm 300, as you can see, and this is a 500. I'm like, hmm, how can I get revenge on a team that's 500? It don't make no sense. But you see, when I click the revenge, I'm not gonna find them because I'm definitely gonna lose. It's 400. It's different. You see. It's actually different, so you can try it a few times. Sometimes t the other teams are weaker, but most of the time they are not, which is the sad thing. But sometimes they are. Ah, like see, I won a revenge battle. I think they had like 30,000 for their team. Yeah, I. it's called bait teams if y'all don't know, but I fall for them anytime, any day. Oh, let me just buy some milk. Hmm. Let's see, what other tips were there? Because I'm dumb, I forgot all of them. You can merge your houses, and I suggest that you do, because it is better to merge your houses. It's just better like that. Oh, yes, and if you want to get extra um, gems, you can go to here, tough cookies. You can just complete some of these quest thingies and then get some free gems. For me, my next one, I have to upgrade Ginger Brave skill to 30. So I'm struggling to do that, but for me, he is 29. Then I just have to attempt upgrading a topping 10 times, which is easy. And then promote Gingerbread 2. Mine's already maxed out. And then we and then we get an easy 1,000 after I upgrade his skill powder. So it's sad because I have to wait now. Hmm. Hmm. Let's see what other tips were there. I forgot because I'm dumb. Anything here? Fun fact, it's actually it's actually good news if it breaks open because you get to fight again and get more rewards again. So it's basically like doing one thing one time, but then later it gets broken, then you get the reward another time. It would be unfair or uncool if it like, let's just say, you, you killed the village, it's now fixed. The next day, it's broken again. When you want to fight again, they ain't got no rewards, or at least it's less rewards. Then you're like, hey, I got scammed. At least they give you a full now, you know? I am not gonna fight because I am lazy. Alright. And Cookie Alliance is okay, I guess. You can try igniting, but it's quite expensive. But I'm rich because I haven't bought anything in forever. Hmm, what else is there? I'm dumb. Yes, uh, let's see. Decors. You probably shouldn't buy them unless you just want to decorate. Because you get gems in return, but you spend gems to get gems. Like, imagine spending 5,000 on this thing to get a 300. Like, that's a terrible deal. Which is why I don't spend my money on those kind of things. Unless it's cool. For example, this. It looks pretty. It looks cool. I can probably get some stuff. It looks cool, you know? Unless it looks cool, it's not worth it. And then we also have some shut up. Straight harbor. You can do this. Uh I normally suggest to always like create cloud pillow thingies of I forgot what they're called, but who cares? Um because they give you a lot. So you like they're worth 1453, I think. I don't is that the exact number? 1453? <gasps> I'm a genius, I remembered. So it's better good to get like lots and lots and lots of them. You don't have to make it to 50,000 unless you wanna, but I said just don't. I once bought, I once sent 50 of my cotton candy and then I had a bit of a shortage for a while. But I'm finally back now, we're Gucci's. I also suggest upgrading your Fountain of Abundance, 
I can't because I started spending my Aurora items on my kingdom. It's pretty cool though, so I think it's worth it. <laughs> okay. So here's the thing. Uh, train station, yes, you need to give a lot of stuff. I know it's worth a lot and like you have to give a lot of stuff and it's wasteful. But you can do it that way. You can get some Aurora stuff. I forgot what they're called. Yeah, it's Aurora something. Like, where is it? Where, where is the dumb thing that says it? Ah, yeah. Aurora pillar, Aurora brick, Aurora compass. I don't care what Aurora you are, just give it. I honestly don't really know what time jumpers do, so I normally sell them. Like, look at how much I could get. But then again, I'm rich, so that is broke to me. And then for the springtime missions, it's not quite worth it. Because you're literally doing 20 pictures slash bingo cards for just one temple. One temple. Like the memory jelly one were like, okay, one picture gets 10, no, not 10, 1k. I, I got like 20 to 10k with that. Like, do you know how much good stuff was in there? It was real good. Some people also say don't do the daily wishes. But I still do them because who cares? Nah, just kidding. Uh, you should do them so because one, the nether gacha says claim daily reward from the tree of wishes. So that's why you need to do them. And then you can do the nether gacha because you want dark cacao. And if you don't, I question you. Okay, I don't suggest like doing these thingies. I mean, I know you get them, but are they really worth it though? Yeah, and then, uh, I don't suggest, um, hmm, is there anything else? Oh yeah, definitely one thing, never spend gems on coins. Coins are one of the easiest things to do. This is what you do if you want more money. You go choose a world exploration stage that you already completed last time. Let's say I choose this, use this, and you equip this. There's something called a cheese coin purse. Wait, is that the name? No, cheese birds coin purse. <laughs> I mix up the names. It grants a 69.5% chance to gain extra coins. Yeah, you gain extra coins. You hear that, people? That's what you use if you need extra money. Or you can use this. Where was it? Ah, uh, it provides plus 8.6% more coins after victory. Only victory. If you lose, you don't get no money. We don't give money to losers. So yeah, never spend it. I mean, y'all probably don't already do that, but if you do, get some help and stop doing it. Oh shit, I need to make more cloud pillows, okay. And that's pretty much it. Until I can think of more because I forgot everything I wanted to say when the moment the video started. But yeah, that's pretty much all. Okay, bye guys, see you in the next vid. And if you like this one, like and subscribe. Bye!